Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Virgo. Now you can have Virgo anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Virgo, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. Now, Virgo, as I shuffled, these two cards just jumped out. Now, there's somebody, and I'm hearing somebody that is very envious of you. And you might have not known this particular person. This particular person could have ran away from you or it took a different route. And it was because they were confused. But I'm hearing they still love you. What the hell? They still love you. They ran away. Or this could be that now that they left you, Virgo, they might have took off from you and left you behind. They're confused. And they're wishing they could come and embrace you. See, their ancestors are all up in their ear. And I say their ancestors because they know they fucked up. For a lot of you guys, this could be your ancestors that they're making them see you happy in this energy. And they hate it. And they want to come towards you. They're studying. They're trying to find a way to come towards you. Now, this took a twist. A turn. It took a twist. Because it's like your ancestors want you to trust God and the process. And why did I hear that? It's almost because you might have a little doubt. Should I go back to this particular person? Your ancestors are saying, no, trust the process. <coughs> See, the universe has something that has illuminated your path. It's almost like, God, the universe illuminated this certain path. And you feel blocked. It's almost like you need to take this leap of faith. And that's why they don't want you to chase nobody. Man or female, they want you to be grateful for everything that's happened, good or bad. But there's something that the universe has illuminated. And it's and it's 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 gonna take you to take action towards it. You're kind of holding yourself back. And the universe understands that you have to go within and you have to think and trust. But I'm hearing your ancestors trust God and the process. So look. This may, it's almost going to, it's going to take you trusting. It's almost like I'm here walking by faith and not by sight, something like that. And even though the waters may be choppy right here, they want you to have this passion towards this spiritual journey. And some of you guys are like, well, what am I going to do with all my things? The universe is going to tell you, just take a little bit of things. Now, have you heard that phrase? God always provides if this... That's what I'm hearing. God will always provide for you. No matter what you lose, the universe is always there for you. The universe just wants you to reach this top of the hill, these goals, these, this journey that they have for you. It's almost like you're going to gain a lot of wisdom. And look at all the freaking protection you have. Apart from you having your sword ready to strike, but the universe is trying to set you up a little higher. There's a mission there's a calling on your life, Virgo. And it's you looking at things from a higher perspective. Now, a lot of you Virgos have asked for God to come towards you, to heal you, to save you. And it's going to require you what? To balance your emotions. You have a guardian angel. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Sagittarius. It could have been a Sagittarius that might have got in between you and a past partner. And the universe is telling you to heal this situation, to come clean with the situation. Look, for some of you guys, if you were dealing with a third party situation, yes, the universe is asking you to heal this situation. Otherwise, if you don't feel anybody coming towards you, it's okay. I'm here in Psalms 86 verse 4. And this has a lot. This is a lot for you guys. For some of you guys, they even want you to read. I'm here in verse number five. And I'm here and he loves you big time. So there's a special message. I'm here in Psalms 86, four through five. Yes, and a lot of you guys, your ancestors know how much this particular person hurt you. But they want you to let go. They want you to let go, forgive them. But most importantly, they want you to forgive yourself. 
Because I'm here, it, it was a freaking test. Virgo, pass this test. Don't let the devil confuse you in this time. And this is where the universe is leading you to look at things from a higher perspective. They don't want you to be stuck. They want you to be in this energy. And once you find this clarity, this is where you're heading. Look, look at this energy, this co-creation that you're doing with the universe. And it's going to bring you so much happiness. You're going to be in this night of wands, man or female, it doesn't matter. For some of you guys, yes, the color white looks good on you. Something about a white shirt. Maybe you're meaning to buy new white shirts. And yes, we're going into the winter, but fuck what anybody thinks is what I'm here. But you look good in white, man or female. And look, for a lot of you guys, you guys were looking for love. The devil was trying to confuse you that, oh, this past person was the one and it could only be this last person. But a lot of you guys know you have something that the universe is going to bring to you. When you least expect it is what I'm hearing. The universe, this is the universe bringing two people together. Look at that. Oh my God, look, somebody with pentacles and somebody that's loyal. It could be the other way around, however it may be. But the universe is telling you to trust in the process and guidance. Ay, ay, ay. Virgo, sun, moon, rise at anywhere in the chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and put in the comments if this is you. Because I'm hearing your ancestors say, breaking these chains. It's going to require you blessing everyone that hurt you. Now, some of you might be like, what? But yes, to release your blessings, you came here to learn, to experience things. And maybe that was an experience of how, the way this particular person hurt you. Look at this. But you see that key? You have the key to open that door and say bye to this hurt, this pain. And look, once you leave this door, look what you have happiness and joy because you will understand the lesson behind it see a, a, a very important uh lesson that i learned on this journey and it's something that the universe always pushes me to tell people is the first part is to embrace your spiritual journey what does that require you screaming at screaming typing in different comments letting people know i love my spiritual journey and why is that important is because you will start to embrace your your sorrow, your hurt, your pain. And you start to show the devil like, hold up. Yes, this shit hurt, but I love my spiritual journey. And it's part of my what? My mission when I came here to earth to understand this hurt and pain. See, because hurt and pain and all that, that betrayal that happened to you in the past on how they hurt you, how they left you out, was part of God's plan. It was meant for you to experience it, to learn from it, to embrace it, and to not let bitterness get to you. That's part of the devil. The devil wants to control you and keep you in this energy behind the doors. And look, the universe says you have the ability to what? To reap happiness, joy, abundance. If they might have left you with nothing, you have the passion to co-create with the universe and get yourself up. Look, red and the red shirt. But your ancestors and God, the universe understands you may need a little time time to yourself and to shed them tears to be in the dark for a little while understandable embrace it yes it hurt but once you open that door look what you have coming the ten of cups or the nine of cups i saw ten but look at this mucho mucho amor and it's just going to require a little strength from your part to see some of you guys are learning how to control the darkness and the light from you. You know, it's like, rawr, you're the fucking lion. You're the beast. And you're putting to death all that hurt and pain. Some of you guys might be dealing with a freaking Scorpio and you're like, you know what? I don't want to see you no more. Or some of you guys are reflecting that same hurt that they did to you back to them. And it's almost like you're a mirror. And they're wondering, why is it? Virgo has this heart of gold. In this case, it's red. But I'm hearing the heart of gold because you keep continually giving love. So much richness when it comes to love. And the devil's trying to tell you, come to me, Virgo. Come to me because I want to trap you. But see, Virgo, you're too powerful for this bullshit, for this demon. Maybe this demon has been chasing your family and, you know, from generation to generation. 
But even this devil right now, look, you might have stripped the fucking shirt off his fucking back and it was white. And you're like, you know what? Freak you. And you took your power back. And look, you stepping into the spotlight. Because for a lot of you guys, you're about to show people how to overcome this. Your testimony is freaking important. And I'm hearing, as I see this, I'm hearing that God is watching you, watching you overcome these situations. He watched you while you were hurt. There you are with your red colored um, garments. The universe saw how much love and how much love you have towards God, the universe. And you are uh, able to cry. It doesn't mean that you're weak or that you lost. But the universe seen how powerful you are, how you trusted in God to let this tower just fall. Some of you guys got out just in time. And it, it's, it's almost like God is watching you surrender to him. He's going to catch you. And when you do that, look, you start to feel this energy of the universe. This cope. Look, look at all this creation, the yellow. And it's almost like you throw ideas to God. The universe says, this, could, should I do this? Should I do that? And the universe throws it back to you and says, yes. Yes. I'm hearing you. <laughs> You're, a lot of you guys are starting to focus on your divine purpose. You're going to help the chosen ones, man. I said that earlier. You're about to help others to uplift and raise humanity. But most important, to break free from generational curses. There's like... Damn, you're breaking generational curses. It's amazing. It's amazing because look, for a lot of you guys, you you haven't been in this energy of party and being with friends and everything. You have been isolated. You've been isolated for a while. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. So let's see, what do we have? For a lot of you guys, the devil, the... People that the devil's using, your enemies or brother, sister, somebody that was holding you back. For some of you guys, it's a parental figure that's in your way of your blessings. Some of you guys believed in your parental figure to guide you. And the universe is, your ancestors right now are saying, what the hell is wrong with you? Some of you guys have a parents that did some crazy ass shit when you were young. That abandoned you, that left you behind. And all of a sudden, they come back into your life and they change. They're Christians. They change and all that. But yet, they were guiding you in the wrong way. And some of you all left a good thing. The universe is telling you this particular person, even if it's your parent, has addictions of codependency. It's almost like they, if you have a parent that, or maybe you were dealing with somebody you had a commitment with. They chose their parent because the parent had a codependency. Oh, what am I going to do without my daughter or my son? And that's fucking insane. And if this is you, you're finding your self-worth and you're letting go of this particular parent and you're trusting in God, the universe. And you know the story behind it, that once you get to a certain age, you leave your parents behind. But some of you guys are dealing with a parent that got in the way and is, a, it is getting in your way of your blessings of true love. They want you to be miserable like they are themselves. This, look, this came out, the narcissist. It says love bombing, self-absorbed, but this is a one-sided relationship. This is a narcissistic parent that doesn't want to see you happy. They, they want you to be, you know, with them as always. Like maybe they don't have a partner. Your, remember your parent died, one of your parents, and this is shocking. You're, you're finding out, and you're about to make sudden changes. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Some of you guys could be dealing even with a, a cousin that might have interfered in your relationship. And this particular person is a miserable son of a... Is what I'm hearing. And it says right here, look, the snake, competition, envy. The other woman... 
the other man look over his shoulder. And what I'm here when I said that, this is a cousin that you might or you might be looking back and saying, man, I had a good relationship with this particular cousin. But this particular cousin, as I said this, this is a snake. This is a particular person that as you were growing up, you might have been equal. But as soon as you started your career life, your marriage, your commitment phase, they started to be a snake. There was a lot of jealousy, envy on how... Virgo, this is even a person that might have had everything before you. In, in other words, blessings, a home, a family, everything, a job. And you might have been behind a little bit. You know, you might have been taking your time just, just trusting in the universe. And this particular person was, was envious underneath. And all of a sudden, when your blessings started to come in, you started to glow. You started to blow up in this particular Family member was pissed because you were passing them up. They were envious of your abundance. And they sabotage your relationship behind the scenes. And this is something that you're finding out. They were playing games and they left you heartbroken. This, this particular person is about to get major karma is what I'm hearing. Major karma. Because at the end of the day, you're still going to be rising, Virgo. And this particular person is still going to be a snake. No matter how many times they shed their skin, siempre va a ser una víbora. It's always going to be a snake. And look, and you got proof in pictures. This particular person is una pinche víbora. And maybe they're in parties. They just sit there and they pull out pictures of you to, to talk shit about you. This is a narcissistic karmic relationship you have even with a cousin, a family member. They want to keep you down. Yet they want to act like they love you. So I don't know who needed to hear that. But let's get out of that energy. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in chart. Let's, let's get a spiritual as fuck message because I'm hearing you. You're moving forward. You don't even care if they love you. And it says right here. It says, it's up to you to find beauty, beauty in the ugliest days. It says, everyone's survived some super shitty days. But every, even when it comes to those crappiest of crap days, if you look back, you can pretty much always find something beautiful. Maybe someone was unexpectedly kind to you. Or for a split second, the star dangling gold sunset made you forget your life was crumbling. Or perhaps there was donuts with sprinkles at your first AA meeting. The trick is to train yourself to spot the beauty in that very moment, aka real time. It makes the ugly days a little less ugly. So some of you guys, yes, through this journey, through these lessons, you've learned to, you've learned to look at things from a higher perspective. You've learned to what? To see things with love. You learned wisdom. You put up your boundaries and you know what to put up with and what not to put up with. But a lot of you guys, you learn to see things from a higher perspective and you understand that God loves you regardless of the situation. And I keep getting led to Psalms 86, verse 4 to 5. God loves you. There's a special message there for you. So that's what I have for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere you chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and keep breaking them generational curses. Baby, you are powerful. You are strong. You are wealth. And you're very grateful. Let her know you're fucking fearless, Virgo. It's your time to shine, baby. Put it in the comments. Infinite Tarot, 888.